In the previous video, we learned about dynamic components. We used the component HTML tag with the ease attribute that points at a component name which view should render in the browser. In this video, let's learn another feature about dynamic components. To understand the feature, let's first look at an example. Consider the user is filling a multi-step form with each tab representing a form for the user to enter various details. In the tab C component, let's assume that the user needs to enter their name. So I'm going to add a data property called name. Initialize to an empty string. And in the template, I'm going to add an input element for the user to enter their name. We sync this input with the name property using the vModel directive. If we now save the file and head to the browser, in tab C content, we should be able to see the input element. I can type in the name Vishwas. However, if I switch to tab A and come back to tab C, it's no longer showing the name we had entered. This is because each time you switch to a new tab, view creates a new instance of the active tab component. So tab C would be recreated in our example. Although this is the desired behavior, sometimes we want the component instance to be cached once they're created. In our example, if the user is filling forms in each tab, it makes sense to preserve the form state when the user is switching between the tabs and not recreate the instance. To achieve this instance caching, we use another custom HTML element specific to view, which is the keep alive element. So back in VS Code, in the app component, we simply have to wrap the component tag with the keep alive tag. If you now go back to the browser, go to tab C content, fill in the name Vishwas, click on tab A and switch back to tab C, the name Vishwas is still maintained. Here, view is basically keeping the dynamic component alive even though the component is inactive. The recommendation is to use the keep alive tag when you want to maintain a dynamic component state even if it is inactive or to prevent re-rendering of the component for performance reasons. All right, that is about dynamic components in Vue. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.